man in the seafood business for decades says he's getting out of it. Carolyn Schofield explains how the fallout from last year's oil spill impacted his company. Dean Blanchard Seafood has long been a booming business in Grand Isle. But Thursday night, Blanchard closed the doors to his plant, possibly for good. I came home and I started looking at my books and I don't see why it pays us to stay open. Uh, basically, we're giving more credit than what we're getting in profits. You know, we're going backwards. Blanchard is featured in a documentary debuting at the New Orleans Film Festival. The Big Fix chronicles last year's oil spill and BP's efforts to clean it up. Producers of the film talked about it Friday afternoon. They claim the oil and dispersants are making wildlife and people sick. I had 13 upper respir respiratory infections from June of last year until May of this year. Blanchard says he's seen the problems firsthand. He says fewer shrimp are coming in this season, and some of the shrimp that do make it to his plant show signs of contamination. We're seeing dead porpoises. We're seeing uh, uh, shrimp with no eyes that's still alive. We're seeing fish with, with uh, tumors the size of golf balls in them. We're seeing fish with, with, with all all over the gills. We're seeing shrimp with all all over the gills. It's hard for me to think that everything's going to be all right. Blanchard received compensation from BP last year, a million dollars. He says that only covers half the credit he extended to his customers. And right now, on, on NSF check that I'm holding from customers that never give me a bad check before, people have been doing business with 20 and 25 years, just don't have the money to pay you. Blanchard let go of 65 employees immediately following the spill, and the 20 remaining could soon be out of a job. He says he plans to keep fighting BP in the hopes the company will continue to pay up and clean up so his employees can get back to work. In New Orleans, Carolyn Schofield, Fox 8 News.